did a great job. Okay, did a great job today. I'm, I'm going to hand the microphone over to our head coach here quickly, and then I'll have a few words for you to get you where you need to go. But uh, he doesn't need an introduction, but I'll give you one. All right? Homegrown guy from the south side of Chicago, Orland Park, Carl Sandburg High School. Came here to Northwestern, was a two-time Big Ten champion. Two-time All-Big Ten. Captain at Northwestern. Two-time National Defensive Player of the Year. But more importantly than all of that, Northwestern graduate. All right, just cut me short. Thanks, Coach Mac. I appreciate it. Um, I didn't say anything, so why? And that didn't work out. Why are you clapping? All right, thank you for the kind gesture, though. Uh, first of all, how about a big round of applause for all of our guest coaches that are here? I'll let you guys do that. Okay. I want to say thanks a lot to you guys for being here. As you guys will depart here in a few minutes, you guys go back, get your cars, and go home and go back out the parking lot. There'll be 650 more guys registered for the afternoon session. So uh, I hope you sleep well on the way home. They'll sleep well tonight, and then we'll have another 650 tomorrow. So to our guest coaches, thank you guys so much for being here. We really appreciate it. I'm going to ask you for about seven minutes of your attention. If you can give, give me your eyes and your ears, I'd appreciate it. But more importantly, I hope you wouldn't be talking right now. Because if you're talking, that means you're probably being pretty disrespectful to me. And I wouldn't do that to you if I was listening to you speak. So give me about seven minutes. I'd appreciate it. I know you guys have a hard time focusing. I keep studying up on all these millennial things. And, um, you know, it's pretty crazy that every seven minutes you guys have been conditioned to check your phone. That's when commercials happen. So for a half-hour show at 7, 14, 21, and 28, that's when commercials happen when you watch your favorite shows. So your ability to listen for, to me for seven minutes is going to be challenging. I hope I can keep your attention. I hope you'll stay focused, and I hope you'll listen. You guys did a great job. We asked you to stay healthy and safe. Did everybody stay, hopefully, pretty healthy and safe? So that was good. I hope you learned one thing that as you go back is going to make you a better football player for you individually. But if that's the only thing you did today was get better individually, you're selfish. You're really selfish. Take something you learned that you could maybe talk to your coach about or share with your teammates that's going to make your team better. Share it with your teammates. I commend you for being here. Coach Mack talked about it this morning. You guys could have been sleeping in. You could have been playing Fortnite. You decided to come get better at football. But this is the first week in June. You guys need to get in shape. That's what's so great about our game that will never change, whether or not we can have contact at this time or that time, whether you can wear pads or not, it doesn't matter. The game still demands that you get in great, great physical shape. Because if you don't get in great shape, the first thing that goes is your mind. And when your mind goes, you can't focus on the call. You can't execute and have the discipline to do the fundamental and the technique. And yeah, you're hurting yourself, but more importantly, I'm going to go back again. You're hurting your teammate to your left and to your right. But again, I'm already looking around. Some of you guys aren't looking at me right now. I lost some parents. It took me a minute and a half. A minute and a half. That's your guys' problem. Okay? And I'm sure if your high school coaches were here, that's what they would say. When people are sharing wisdom with you, you have the opportunity to make a choice. You can choose to listen and grow, or you can think people are wasting your time. In our program, man, we have two cornerstones that we believe are critically important to success in life. The first one's a choice of your attitude. A lot of people talk about it, but very few people can do it. And a lot of things impact it, but I promise you this, it takes zero talent, and it's a God-given choice for you to have a great attitude every second of every day. I don't care if your girlfriend didn't go to prom with you. Brush your teeth, shave, get some game, maybe she'll go with you next year, okay? It's your fault, get over it, all right? And it's not my fault, maybe some of you guys that aren't starters why you're not starting on your football team. You probably got to work a little harder. You probably got to sacrifice some things a little bit more. You got to make better choices. See guys, when I was your age, I didn't do that. I thought I was better than everybody else. And I was very fortunate and blessed to be a Northwestern student athlete here. I just got lucky. I got lucky. And I look back at my time when I was your age, man, and I made a lot of mistakes. And you guys are going home it's a beautiful Saturday, wherever you're going to go, it's a Saturday night. If it's anything like it was in Orland Park where I grew up, man, there's going to be a hell of a party tonight. Somebody's parents are going to a dinner, somebody are going to a wedding. Some of them just don't even care. And in the corner of the party will be a keg, keg of Budweiser with all the beer you can drink. 
And when it runs out, you can ring the bell, dilly dilly, here we go. Let's go do it again. Over there will be all the weed you can smoke and drugs you want to do. Back there will be a young lady passed out, drunk, inebriated, ready to be taken advantage of. And back there is a guy that wants to fight you just because you play football. The top of what we value is an acronym for win. What's important now? Life's about making the right choices and decisions. And I tell our guys all the time, if, they, if I thought Budweiser would make them All-American, I'd put it in the locker room. And that's not going to happen. We comprehensively test for drugs and alcohol. Why? To identify if guys have a problem, to get them help. And number two, to hold them accountable. Because the second time you make a choice, it's not a choice, excuse me, the second time you make a choice, it's not, a, not that choice, it's a mistake, guys. Oops, I made, a bad, I made a bad choice. No, I made a mistake. The second time you make it, it's a choice that you're making, guys. You can't do that. That young lady who's passed out drunk and ready to be taken advantage of, how about we be men? How about we protect her? How about we look after her? You guys have all kinds of bad examples on Saturday of college football players not doing that and on Sunday of guys not doing that. And I'm sorry that you have those people potentially as role models. But you guys can go make an impact in your community. You can do it one young lady at a time, one party at a time, and make great choices. And please, whatever you do, guys, just communicate with your parents. I know they wear you out. That's why I made fun of them all the whole time when I had a mic today. But they've got this thing called wisdom. They've got wisdom. And the last cornerstone is investment in our program. And that's consistent hard work. Not some of the time. Not when it's cool out. Not when it's hot. All the time. Not when you feel like it. Not when it's for the big game. For every game. All right? And so we are so thankful and so appreciative that you were here today. I just wish you nothing but the best of luck. And if I could give you a t-shirt besides the one you're walking out with, it's called awareness. I'd say awareness. Every situation you put yourself in, you got to have great awareness. When I was growing up learning those life lessons, we didn't have the worst thing ever invented called cell phones. So when you go to that party tonight, somebody's really jealous of you and they're recording you. Like I see this guy recording me over here right now. I didn't give you permission, so if you post it, I'm suing you. <laughs> life is all about choices. And you guys all know the difference between right and wrong make the right ones and I promise you the success is going to be in your future because you're doing those right choices day in and day out. Okay? So appreciate you, Coach Max, going to break you guys down. Let the guest coaches say goodbye to you. Again, we greatly appreciate you being here. Have a great season. Have a great summer. Thanks a lot. Go Cats. All right, we're going to put you guys into uh, your position group.